Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to create your own custom Gmail client Android app using the new Google's app password approach for authentication. So we'll be using API level 34 in this one. So let's begin. So we'll create a new project. Probably an empty view activity. Click next. You can name this anything Gmail client app. and click on finish wait for the environment to load it may take a while in a minute i'll just quickly show you i already created one uh, tutorial for the same reason and it's published on my website over here how to send gmail email using smtp server so i'll be using the code from here however that time when i was doing this uh, around a couple of years back that time username and password was allowed we can just simply use the password and like this and you can set it in the properties and that was allowed however google has recently blocked like no one can use the passwords from a third party app so we may have to replace this password using the uh, app password what the google allows so i'll just show you quickly once how to do that it's pretty easy and simple there were lots of comments coming on my uh, yeah video so i wanted to update this over here so let me see if it's and when it is loaded up so it is still in process we'll have to wait perfect my environment seems to have loaded up so what i can do is first and foremost let me start this uh in the api 34 and let the emulator run or at least come up in the parallel on the right hand side now uh, from this uh document what we'll get is we'll get the code so we need few things first of all the gradle uh, dependency which is this one so I can probably I can just control C, I can come back here and I can go to the Gradle file and just add those two. Of course, I'll have to do the sync now, but before that, I'll do also one more thing. I'll just add the manifest permission to access internet. You have to just add here and nothing on the Java code side you have to do. And just click on sync now and let it sync. It may take a while. In the meantime, I'll go to here and also copy. The other code which is like my main function yeah I'll, I'll put this code in my new page as well which i've created for this app so you'll get all the codes from there also so not too problem and if i come back here i'll just put that uh, code and over here it may ask me to include or import the required uh library so just keep doing alt enter and it will probably take care of this so most of the things just make sure that it's from the java x uh, library which we have in the gradle over here we are imported the java x okay so here if you go just keep doing yeah alt enter here they are giving two options whether java mail or java net probably i'll go with the first option and message also okay there are a few more things which needs to be taken care i'm not sure why this is not happening so okay Yeah, no, it happened. I think this view is the last one which you have to enter. Perfect. I think so. We are kind of done here. Now we'll need a button in our code which will say, uh, yeah, so let me go back to my layout and over here, let me add a button here. So already the text view is given. I think I keep the text view, but I'll add a button here using which will trigger the our command so this button i can name it probably send the email you can name anything it doesn't matter give the right con required constraints and uh, the on click attribute <coughs> set it to the method i think this sound is come from my emulator let it uh, yeah no problem also in the text view i'll give you some id so that i can display the required output in the uh, if if you yeah, have for debugging purpose or something if you require i can print it on that text view so i'm picking a local variable here in the on create 
method itself first I'll create this text view text view find view by id r dot id dot text view perfect and I will scroll down and probably what I'll do is over here if everything is successful or probably not here I'll do it probably after this everything is successful just before exiting the uh, yeah I can just print uh, email send success fully yeah and however if it's not successful then what I can do is control C in one of these exceptions what I can do is, is probably error I can flip or I can say do one thing add this exception I can just print this add this exception for here and for the other one it will be I guess message exception so I can just control C control Keep message exceptions like this yeah, that should be fine I think he also did a try catch so I can do one thing I can just control C and and he also probably can say nice exceptions one and this one probably two yeah and anyway, this is just for uh, yeah uh, our output purpose so let me quickly run this okay yeah no but here what I will do have to do is I have to set the password and also although this I uh, copied from my previous code but most likely I'll create a new email ID over here and I'll not use the previous one so let me go to my gmail now so in this I have already logged in using my receiver email id so that i use as it is the one which i created earlier i still have the access however for the sender one i will create a new email id so i'll what i'll do is i'll add another create account for personal use and i can name it anything sender email or i can use one programmer what well, that's the name of my channel next okay so i don't know what to say uh, I can say mail of him or not to say that could be probably okay I, I can't give I think below something like uh, 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 yeah I, I'm just randomly giving some dates so 1938 I don't I don't want to be below 18 or 20 years uh, there may be restrictions so I'm just giving it like something like 30 years old is over here and click next and choose your uh, gmail uh, address so it's giving me some prompt so but I think I can create one, more, one of my own create your own gmail address so sender email 964 let me see if it's available or not sender email oh that was available fine now here is asking me to uh, create some password so okay I can do one thing I can use that same password what I used the last time but somehow I have feeling it won't work I mean of course we can set the password here but we can't use this password to do this okay it will ask for the phone number verification so give some phone number and then click next and do the verification yeah I'm just entering the verification code this is my phone and now it's asking for recovery email. I don't think this is a mandatory step, but still, I think I can give my programmer world 1998.gmail.com email ID and next. You can skip this also. Then uh, review account, ta -ta -ta, next. And then accept the policies, whatever it says. And just wait for a while. In the meantime, your account gets created. So we'll be using this one. Yeah, on refreshing the page, I got this page and my account has been created with this email ID and all sender email 964. So we'll be using this one in our code. So I'm just copying it over here and going back to the code. And instead of this one, I'll just use my new email control V. Uh password, I think we can leave it as it is, as we use, but we'll see it won't work out. So first I'll show you uh uh, whether it works or not and otherwise uh, yeah I think I may have to comment this out to see that yeah to see which particular error uh, if it goes to any exception or not yeah so first we'll run this code and see if it works or not but I have a feeling that although we have given the correct password which we used while creating this email ID uh, it won't work out
by the way just a note i will be changing this password after this uh, tutorial so don't try this uh, same password it may not work okay so it's giving me some error uh, i think yeah i have a fix for this also in my same page we have to just add i think uh, packaging option so i can just control c and go to your little file over here and just add those that should be fine okay click sync now again and probably i'll rerun it and this time i'm hopefully it will work out so yeah so if you debug and uh, see it may give authentication or something like that let me see i've clicked this link see it closed because i think it's going to some exception that is not working out and if i open my email uh, account so over here of course this is just now which is created and if i go to the sent list it's completely empty and if i go to the receivers end uh, no email has been issued so of course no email has been sent from here and no email has been issued over here i can refresh it and it's still no email okay so what i'll do now is um, i'll create the app password and i'll show you the steps for that so for that you go here and click on this manage your google account okay it will open in a new tab and this go to the security option and over here go to this two step verification so by default uh, i think it will be off you may have to go to get started and enable it switch it on by giving some phone number over here so i'll be verifying my phone number now once the phone number is uh, verified i can switch on the turn on so when you should turn it on then go back to this two step verification and scroll to the bottom mouse this to step verification go to the bottom mouse and over here you will get the app password so click on this and over here it will ask you to create an app so choose the some other app you can give it any name say for example my custom gmail client android app this name doesn't matter you can name anything click generate it will give you a password over here so just copy this password and come back to your code here and instead of this one uh, test whatever we are using we we'll use this updated password now whatever we have copied from there uh, I'll just repeat here so of course I'll change this also uh, once we are done so if you click done you can even uh, see this uh, over here which was created okay so if I go back to my Android app so this password I have given and now I'll rerun uh, my app to see and if I click this button this time of course app is not closing something is not printed because i think last in this i had commented on but nevertheless uh, i'll go to my gmail itself directly and here if i go to the sent uh, message i click it again a uh, second time and if i go back to my gmail back if i refresh okay so now i can see yeah uh there are two times it has sent in fact to that email so the email which we use receiver uh, this email which you used to send right and uh, I think this message what we have sent here is from our code which I had typed in my last time also so subject is android app email and yeah this is that uh, message what we have sent so if we see um, this is for the send part and if you go to the receive part perfect you can see in the receive side also you have received this email twice probably I can do one thing I can go back and click this button once again it enhance me and if i go here and i'm expecting one yeah see one more time it came here third time which is just now and if i go do the same thing over here this will be now three times so one more time it is gone so that's all i just wanted to show you uh, that how easy it is the only thing is last code also works many times people have, are putting comments that there is some issue the only thing is you have to change the password from your email password to the app password which you have to create from the uh, yeah uh, uh, two level verification uh, window of your gmail account so if i can quickly show you once again so how you can do is you can go here and in the manage account section go to your two-step verification under the security in the bottom you'll get the app password go there and you can create a password generate a password and then use that password for the authentication so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye